Residential roof structures are designed to protect a home from the elements. Attics are often provided with ventilation via natural buoyancy. These attics have a designated flow path. The warm air which builds up in the space rises due to its buoyancy and is exhausted via gable ends or a ridge vent. This creates a negative pressure and draws cooler, ambient air through the eaves. Under fire conditions, this design leads to ventilation-limited fires outside the living space where access is difficult. Unlike living spaces where the majority of the flammable contents are located on the floor, the wood framing and sheathing of the roof structure provide flammable materials high up in the space. Suppression of an attic fire requires water be applied to these burning surfaces, which is almost impossible when water is applied from above using aerial master streams. While applying water from the living space is possible, it requires removal of the ceiling, which has the potential to cause significant non-thermal damage to the contents and needs to be closely coordinated with water application. An alternative option is to apply water through the eaves, putting water in the attic via the path designed for natural ventilation. Water applied into the eaves can flow along the underside of the sheathing, wetting the surface of the fuel while cooling the space. This can confine and control a fire while maintaining the fire barrier provided by the insulation and drywall ceiling. Once the fire is controlled, it provides time to gain access to the space via an interior attic hatches or stairways for final suppression. If no interior access exists, a small opening can be made below to gain access. This tactic is most effective when the eaves can be removed, either via a pike pole, before water application, or through the use of a hose stream. Regardless of how water enters the space, it's important to consider how to get the water where it needs to go. As with all types of fires, understanding how construction features can either enhance or disrupt water distribution is essential to effective attack methods. This is even more important during attic fires. Keep in mind, tactical considerations are just that, something to consider when employing a particular tactic. There is no silver bullet that works on all types of fires. The most effective fire officers understand what tactic to employ in a given scenario for the most successful outcome.